Hello, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. The word that the Lord will speak through me right now. I have no idea what he's going to say, but I'm a willing and obedient vessel for him to speak to his children on his behalf. Servant of the Lord, who is his mouthpiece. God loves you. So do I. Most importantly, Jesus loves you. I'm out here at the park and it's about 103 degrees. That is so good. So I don't keep my mind on the temperature. I keep my mind on what it is I'm led to do. The children of God are led in the spirit. God is spirit. So we must worship him in spirit and in truth. We're led by the spirit of the Lord, his Holy Spirit, whom Jesus Christ said, I will speak to the Father and he will send the Holy Spirit to guide you, lead you, to bring to remembrance of what the Father wants you to know. So he's going to tell you what you need to do. So, you have to apply pressure. Don't look at the temperature. You have to go through it. You know, we're taught, if you can't take the heat, then get out the kitchen. And we believe in these things that don't work. Why does this work? But the Lord says, stay in the fire with him. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He was that fourth man in there. And when they came out, they were stronger than ever because the Lord was in the fire with them. So you'll go through the fire, but you won't get burnt. And when you come out, you won't smell like smoke. So you have to go through it to get to it. Thank you, Lord. Pressure. Apply pressure. You know that song? Pressure. I forget her name. I'll drop it right here. Pressure. Get it. Don't be timid. So that's what the Lord says. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Eyes on Jesus. And apply that pressure. She says keep your eyes on me. Me as the Lord. Keep your eyes on Jesus and apply that pressure. Get it, don't be timid. He did not give us the spirit of timidity. Thank you, Lord. He did not give us this timid spirit, not of fear or confusion, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So the Lord says, apply pressure with him. He gave you the vision. You wrote it down. He will make it plain. So when he make it plain, he'll give you the next piece. <laughs> Keep your eyes on Jesus. Eyes on Jesus and apply that pressure. Faith comes by hearing the word of the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. And without faith, it's impossible to please God. And then when you're with him, he said, you didn't choose me, I chose you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So you gotta choose him back. So you got to apply pressure now. Faith. Now put in the works. What he told you. He's going to take you through it himself. <laughs> Keep your eyes on Jesus. He's going to go through it with you. It's going to look different. Because he's bringing you out of something to something. And so people can't come with you. That he's taken away from you. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Eyes on Jesus and apply that pressure. He's giving you the vision. He's even written it on the tablet of your hearts. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hearts, there's many of you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Yes. Power, love, and a sound mind. <sighs> Powerful. The enemy doesn't want you to know that you have that power to crush scorpions and serpents. Him. And his minions. They don't want you doing God's works. 
There's many things for you to do. Too much is given, much is required. They don't want you to do it. They knew you were the one. So keep your eyes on Jesus. I'm really walking because I don't know if it was a storm here or what, but these things from this tree, I don't know what these, I don't know what kind of tree this is. I'm going to go over here, but keep your eyes on Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. So keep your eyes straight on that narrow road that leads to life that many people will not find. You found it because he chose you out of the world. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, be separated from them. <laughs> Those were your lessons. Now he's got to tell you all the way through of why, who, how, how come. Yes, he's here to answer all of your questions concerning you and what you were created to do. You're in alignment now. Stay there. <laughs> Stay on that road that leads to life. Don't go back to the destructive paths that leads to death. And that's where the enemy wants you because he knows he can take you off of the plan of God. So keep your eyes on the Lord and apply pressure. I don't know what type of tree this is, but that's what it's, it's scattered all over the place. But this is not stopping me. Apply pressure. You don't think about what's there. Believe in who told you to go there to do what you need to do and still see you through. <laughs> Jesus Christ is the way. He is divine. We are the branches. And apart from him, we cannot bear any good fruit. So apply pressure. You need to apply pressure. He's already told you. Now believe him. What he told you, now just do it. Call on him every time. Invite him in. All things through Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior. God loves you. And so do I. This is why he sent me here to give you the message. He's here. He chose you out of the world. Now you have to make the choice to come from amongst them. You have to make it. God is not a force. He gives us choices as he always has. So now he's here to correct us, rebuke us, reproof us so that we can complete the mission that he called us to do. And he's bringing us together in twos. <laughs> Two is greater. There's a greater reward. So husband and wives, get ready for what's real. The kingdom relationships that you so desire, men and women. Thank you, Lord. God is doing a new thing in you. Do you not perceive it? <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Matthew 6, 33. Seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness so that he can add all these things to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 828 on this clock. Romans 828. And we know that God works together all things for your good to those who are called for his purpose that love him. Don't you love him? Yes. So this is according to his will. It's going to work out for your good. <laughs> it's to grow you, sharpen you, break them curses and cycles. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Receive him. He is pouring out his spirit. Receive him. Don't quench him. The spirit of the Lord is here. He said, in the later days, I'm going to be pouring out my spirit on all flesh. All flesh. So this is why you see a change. A change is coming. The Lord is doing these things. The wicked are exposing themselves. And God is growing up new leaders in the body of Christ. He is bringing up new leaders, new apostles, new preachers, new teachers, new evangelists. God is good. He is doing a new thing in you. Out with the old and with the new. In Jesus' name, God loves you. And so do I. So again, apply that pressure. Secular music is, there it is. Secular music can be deadly if the Spirit of the Lord does not show you because there is evil and good. That is his gifts. They know it. That's why they say, God gave me these talents. So we get to choose. God does not give gift of repentance. So we got to choose what we're listening to, not them. Everyone is responsible for their own salvation. So everybody's got to give an account for what they've done. 
So if anyone causes anyone his little ones to stumble, we all have to pay for it. This just is part of the law that we must follow. And he's given us a chance to do everything now. He's here to help us. And he's using his vessels. <laughs> Stay rooted and grounded to the word of the Lord because his word is sharper than any double-edged sword is alive. And so he's going to also speak to you through his people that he's already trained and is training. God is bringing everyone through their process. Trust the process. When you're with the Lord, give him your all. Surrender all to the Lord so that he can give you all of what he has for you, which is his perfect plan for you. So when someone says no one is perfect, say no, no one is perfect but Jesus Christ. But he does have a perfect plan and will for me that I'm going to be in freely. It's a free will. <laughs> choose him. <laughs> he says, choose this day whom you're going to serve. As for me and my household, we're going to serve the Lord. God loves you. And so do I. Most importantly, Jesus loves you. Look, two birds with a feather walk together and stay together. But God joins together. Let no man separate. <laughs> In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.